The geranium on the windowsill just died, but teacher, you went right on, by Albert Cullum. Dedicated to every grown-up who, as a child, died in the arms of compulsory education. Good boys and good girls always listen. To learn, we must listen. We must listen all the time. Good boys and good girls never talk, but they always listen. We should listen and listen and listen. To you, teachers, and your words, your words, your words, your words, your words, your words, your words! It's September again, not breathing, shivering, as far from your desk as I can get, pretending I'm not here, hoping you won't call on me. Of course your classroom is not a circus. Of course you have rules we have to follow. Of course there's lots of stuff we must learn. But teacher, can't you smile when you tell us all this? You, my dear teacher. You, who tell me my thoughts are wrong. You, who are so neat and strong. You, so strict and proper. It's as if you can see right through me. You tell me I can't and that I shouldn't. But you, you, who are you? Where is my place in your puzzle, Teach? Do I fit, or am I one piece too many? Tell me, for real, Teach. I know there's no room for me on your bulletin board, but do I have a place in your puzzle? I was good at everything before I started being here with you. I was good at laughing, playing dead, being king. Honest, I was good at everything. And now, now I'm only good at everything on Saturdays and Sundays. You're so proud of your shiny new car. You're so proud of your new color hair, your vacation tan, and your and your clean blackboards. I sit in the third row, second seat. Teacher, are you ever proud of me? I have a messy desk. I have a milk money that rolls. I have a lazy pencil, a book that won't open, and a mouth that whispers. I have a hand that throws crayons and homework that won't work. My shirt is out, my shoelaces won't tie, and sometimes I wet my pants, but never on purpose. It was great seeing you on Saturday. You said hello to me in the center of, the, of town. Even after you passed me, I heard your hello. Teacher, does this mean that I'm go going to be promoted, that I can be myself from now on? When you don't like me, teacher, I feel the whole world sees me in my underwear with no pants on. I know I'm not very clever, and sometimes I laugh when I shouldn't, but I don't want to go home with you not liking me. Please choose me to water your plants or clean your blackboard, please. You don't have to call me to your desk. You don't have to whisper, for shame, for shame. You don't have to send me out in the hallway. Just tell me that my zipper's open. A clean school wall. Hallway wall, hold me up. She pushed me out. Oh, quiet school wall. Hallway wall, she pushed me hard. Oh, alone school wall. Hallway hall, be my friend. I sit in the first row, last seat. I feel you like me. I mind and I am never late. Do you like me? I always do all of my homework. And I gave you the biggest valentine of all. Do you like me? Sometimes I'm scared of you, though. The way you look, the way you smile, the way you talk to other kids. But that's when you like me best of all, when I'm scared. Yes, Mr. Principal, I heard what you said. You don't have to tell me again. Arf, you are always right. Arf, you are very great. Arf, arf, you are God. Arf, arf, arf. I couldn't help it. I tried to hold it back. I tried hard. I couldn't help it that I farted. Everyone giggled except you. You gave me a dirty look. Why didn't you smile if you'd forgotten how to laugh? At least until the redness went out of my face. Your perfume covers the whole room, but I don't like its smell. You always tell me that I'm the best. But sometimes I wish I wasn't. 
Teacher, please don't be so nice to me. Do I have to be your favorite? Don't you see my rainbow teacher? Don't you see all the colors? I know that you're mad at me. I know you said to color the cherries red and the leaves green. I know I shouldn't have done it backwards, but teacher, don't you see my rainbow? Don't you see all the colors? Don't you see me? I want you to come to our house, teach, and yet I don't. You're so important, but our back door has a hole in it, and my mother has no fancy cake to serve. I want you to come to our house, teacher, and yet I don't. My brother chews with his mouth open, and sometimes my dad burps. I wish I could trust you enough, teacher, to invite you to my house. I know it's just a game. I know it's supposed to be fun. This after school stuff, but it isn't. Keep at it, you tell me. Be a man. Well, I'm just a kid. You're doing it again, teacher. You talk like a train engine or a running tap. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Rush, rush, rush. I get confused. Can't you slow down? I don't even know what the question is. You talk funny when you talk to grown-ups and when the teacher next door borrows some paper and when my mother comes to visit, you talk funny. Suddenly, when my mom is here, I'm your little princess. Why don't you talk to them like you talk to us? Of course your classroom is not a circus. Of course you have rules we have to follow. Of course there's lots of stuff we must learn. But teacher, can't you smile when you tell us all this? Teacher, let me swim in a puddle. Let me race a cloud across the sky. Let me build a house without a single wall. Let me leap, let me whirl, let me fly. Turn to page 67, you say. Paragraph 2. Damn, you scare me when you ask a question I don't know the answer. You always just repeat the question over and over again. But I'm done being scared. You know why? Because this is my last day in your class, and I don't have to listen to your question ever again. This will be your last day in my class. I did all that I could to prepare you for the future. I hope you have learned something. Does anyone have any questions? None. Good. Class dismissed. Teacher, push back the desk and come outside. I'll race you to the swings. Don't be afraid, teacher. Just grab my hand and follow me. You can learn all over again.